And the final team, VCU Ramalytics. A reality that I face as a college student is if there's a prescription drug out there that I want, I can get it. If I want Adderall, all I have to do is find someone with a subscri prescription for it and just pay them for their for their pills of Adderall. The same works with prescribed opioids. If I want it, I just have to find someone who has excess opioids and pay them. Um, this addresses two issues. One is that there's an excess amount of opioids out there and that opioids that are being prescribed are being overprescribed. And that's something that we as a group wanted to look into. Um, I'm Siraj from Ramalytics. I just want to clarify to my mom, I don't do opioids. <laughs> and as a college student, I can testify that um, oversubscription is very prevalent on a college campus. I'm Daryl Misquit. I also want to tell my mom that I don't do drugs. So. so when determining the scope, we really wanted to focus on one burning question. We really wanted to make sure that we're trying to reduce harm ongoing into the future. So we wanted to look at a preventative approach, and again, we really want to tackle over prescriptions and how can we find ways to reduce it. All right, so I'm going to go over the solution. We divide it up in three concepts. Essentially, we're going to do apply change management. We're going to change the prescription process throughout the um, that architecture, architecture structure. Um, we're also going to focus on communication and horizontal, very particularly horizontal communication between doctors at various locations. And then I'm going to dive into a little bit about the assess form later on in this presentation. So the current story, if, if you want to go general, if I was someone who wanted to abuse prescription opioids, what I could do is set an appointment with a doctor, try to tell them some convincing symptoms, and hope that I get a prescription for some kind of op the opioid that I'm desiring. And if I'm in the instance where that doctor doesn't prescribe it to me, I could just go find another doctor and keep trying it until I could get that prescription. But what if... With our solution, we found a way to dis disrupt the current way of how opioid prescriptions are um, given out. What if before you saw your doctor, you had to fill a drug assessment form that kind of gave the doctor some data, some information before you even come into his room or his or her room? And um, this is sort of what we propose as like our solution. And uh, Daryl will go into how that data form would work. So kind of going over form, this is a little... Um preview of what we hypothetically think that it would, would turn out to look like. So essentially what it would do is you have a bunch of text boxes where um, the patient would have to fill out before they would even be able to even see the doctor. And within these text boxes, we would have some algorithms running in the back, um, some scripts running where, depending on some keywords and some phrases that you'd even put into those text boxes, the code would pull out and give it a number, which in a sense, a, lot, a couple of people already touched on like a risk score, except we wouldn't really have a risk score. We'd have to run an algorithm to the point where by the end of it, it'd give a recommendation on the dosage with some ser standard variation, like on how much or more that um, the doctor can prescribe to override it. So with this strategy, some outcomes that we'd hope to see, looking at the bigger picture, is we'd be able to monitor prescribers more. They're sort of the gatekeeper to these prescription, opi prescription opioids. And with this, we'd hope to see that if one prescriber is about to um, prescribe, they could, before they even do that, they could see from past data that this patient might have gone to another doctor and maybe use that as a deterrent to prescribe. It would also hopefully, with more data, uh, we'd be able to get metadata onto what would be the best you know, amount of, of that prescription to give to a user so that they're less likely to get addicted into the future. Again, monitor the, those patients so that they aren't doctor hopping because before they even see that doctor, they, could be, they, they would be able to see if they had gone to another doctor before. And again, with metadata, we could see if they're on a uh, prescription opioid, if they're following within a certain standard deviation of when they should be getting off, and if not, like erasing red flags. And that's where we're talking about the implementation of how we would sort of do this. All right, so essentially we're tying this data into, we're tying, we're tying the form into the PMP database, um, the prescription monitoring program. So essentially what would happen is the doctors can already access this. So by sending this form and all the data to the, to this database, they have a platform they already have accessible that's already deployed where they can use it. Um, we're obviously requiring the form to be used in order to see the doctor. So once again, it's really scalable. Um, it, it's really easy to deploy. It's already there. Um, and back to the point over, really just focus on the monitoring the prescription like a paper trail in a sense. 
um, really to make sure that, okay, this tends to be a problem that doctors are prescribing, even though there's no accountability. So it really promotes visibility and accountability. Thank you. And thank you for your time. Yeah.